pass an electrical current travels on. A simple circuit is made of three parts, a source of voltage like a battery, a conductive path like tinfoil, and a resistor like a light bulb. For this experiment, you will need these materials. to connect one strip of the foil from the battery to the bulb. What do you think will happen? The bulb did not light up because the circuit was not complete. For the next experiment, you'll need to complete the circuit by connecting both strips of the foil to the battery and to the bulb. It needs to look like a circle. Now we are going to have two strips of the foil touching between the battery and the ball. What do you think is going to happen this time? Touching the pieces together, we're causing a short circuit. The electrons are taking a shorter path, which reduces resistance, causing the foil to get hot. I hope you enjoyed my video. Have fun creating your own simple circuit. Okay, first you put this blue piece from B to D. Then you put this battery on the second row of the three. Then you put the fan, make sure that the plus right here is facing, is, is on the battery. And, and the switch goes right here by the battery. And make sure that the S1 is on the battery. Then you then you switch the switch. salt circuit. Now the salt circuits are not as um, conductive as a wire would be so we had to use four AA batteries instead of the two you'll see later in our wire. We also made a paper circuit here. Oh, where's my paper? You can press here and see it lights up the whole thing. Oh, how does it do that? Open me. Let's see. So this is um, copper tape. So you can see we taped the light bulb here, the battery's there, and when you press the wire and connect the circuit, it turns your cute little light on. Then we have down here our simple circuit, and that is, you know, you have your, see the two batteries here, with the positive and the negative wires, and you can flip it on and off. And then over here we have our squishy circuit, and this is Play-Doh, and it works because there is salt in the Play-Doh, um, but you can't touch the Play-Dohs together, otherwise the light bulb goes out. So you see I separated it with a little bit of clay because clay does not have salt in it. It does not conduct electricity, so that keeps it separate, and then I can have cute little eyeball lights. And then last but not least, this is a little kit called Little Bits. Um, comes with a bunch of different kind of circuits. Um, you can see it um, has a power on, and we used a sensor. So um, you can just put your hand up on the sensor, and the farther away I get, the slower it moves. So the closer I get, the faster it moves. So, hi! And that is the end of our science project.